Hey folks, welcome to another edition of Mr. D Teaches Math. And uh, in this video, uh, which I think is probably going to be a, a quick one again, um, I'm actually going to be looking at three lessons in the textbook. I'm going to be looking at 9.4, 9.5, and 9.6. Because 9.4 focuses on reading bar graphs and broken line graphs. 9.5 focuses on drawing, uh, drawing bar graphs. And 9.6 focuses on drawing broken line graphs. I thought, I'm going to combine them all into one video uh, and then just spend a couple of classes, not days, but just maybe classes, um, practicing those skills. So uh, what I'm going to show you uh, are, is basically an example of each. And my hope is that by showing you these, these two examples, uh, you'll be able to uh, do a couple of things, to, to read bar graphs, to interpret the information that's on there, uh, and to take some ideas about how to, how to draw your own uh, bar graphs and broken line graphs. Okay, so uh, this is a um, this is a bar graph, and what it shows actually it's missing the title. Uh, it shows uh, the number of pets. I'm just zoom in a little bit. It shows the number of pets that grade seven students have, grade eight students have, and the teachers have. Um, and so what I have, uh, I, again, I have my y-axis, I have my x-axis. My y-axis uh, I've set into uh, intervals of 5, so 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. I have my y-axis labeled. Uh, my x-axis has, uh, um, it's indicated what, these, what this is, so I don't necessarily need a title in there, although often you will. Um, I have a little legend. Uh, if it's, this is like a double bar graph where it compares, um, it compares similar things. So in this case, it's the number of pets. So, you know, uh, grade seven has 35 cats compared to 25 dogs. Uh, grade eight has 20 cats compared to 40 dogs, and the teachers have 10 cats compared to five dogs. Um, and so, so oftentimes a legend is appropriate. Um, I have used a ruler for all my lines, which is what I expect you to do as well. I don't accept freehand bar graphs. Um, everything is evenly spaced out, labeled, it's neat, there's a title, there's an appropriate legend, and that's all stuff you need to include on your bar graphs when you uh, read them, when you interpret them. Sometimes what you'll see is you'll see a bar graph that goes like this. Um, that's also appropriate, uh, and you will see some, uh, at least one problem like that in, in the textbook on page three, 311. Um, however, for the most part, when you draw out your bar graphs, you do it this way. Broken line graphs, um, the definition for that is just how to show how something changes over time. Uh, and again, I have a title, I have a y-axis that's drawn out. Uh, these numbers represent temperature in degrees Celsius. It's kind of hard to show because I jam the two graphs in really close. But it's temperature in degrees Celsius, and it's, the intervals just go by 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And this is just the daily high temperature probably in March or April. Uh, and it shows how, it, how the daily high changes over the course of five days. And so again, I could have a title down here uh, called Days of the Week, um, but it's probably pretty self-explanatory if I see M, T, W, T, H, and then F to know that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And what happens is it's a couple-step process where you first uh, see where the data intersects. So on Monday, the daily high is 5. On Tuesday, the daily high is 8. Wednesday, the daily high is 10. Thursday, the daily high is 6, and Friday, the daily high is 4. So you draw those dots in, and then what happens is you connect the dots. Now, you're going to be asked over the next three lessons, uh, first of all, to read graphs like this uh, to see what kind of information it contains. So these are the two graphs that we're working with. Secondly, uh, the day, the class after that, you'll be asked to draw graphs like this, obviously using a ruler. Pencil crayons if necessary, uh, and then the next class will be drawing graphs like this. Um, so you need to, again, just to remind you, include uh, titles, uh, make sure things are labeled, make sure it's neat, use a ruler, um, all of those things to show these graphs. 